So I remember, I don't know, six months ago uh, or so, we were talking on this show about what the Republican uh, primary race was going to look like. And we were basically saying it was a two horse race between Donald Trump and like an outside shot of Ron DeSantis. And I know TJ was basically saying there was no outside shot and TJ was probably right. Um, but I think that we were all of the consensus that Ron DeSantis, of all of the nominees, would probably be able to put up the best fight. And he didn't at all. He was maybe the worst presidential candidate I have ever seen. He he made Uzbeki Bekistan look like a look like a Nobel speech acceptance prize. Like Nobel Prize acceptance speech. Um, like this was one of the worst campaigns I have ever seen because their candidate was actually a robot. Um <laughs> That was basically my opinion of what went wrong with his campaign. I think he checked off all the boxes from a policy perspective. I think he checked them off from a, you know, basic good political instincts um, perspective. He's good at maintaining the headlines just like Trump was. But unfortunately, when you put him in front of a camera and asked humans to identify a Turing test him, they never thought he was <laughs> um, And that that was really an in insurmountable uh hurdle to overcome now that to me that's the you know the both the high level analysis and the detailed analysis that, that you need to determine why this campaign failed so miserably um but i guess maybe there there's some uh interesting room to discuss why nobody saw this coming even like having spoken to the man i don't know leah what were your thoughts on on the whole campaign um from start to finish what were your what was your thoughts on desantis I think the main thing is that you're right. He does check all the boxes, but for Republicans right now, it's obvious that it's not about the boxes. It's about vibes and vibes only. And those mm -hmm. vibes are exclusively Trump. I hate using that word, but like that is, it's not about policy because DeSantis's strategy of outflanking Trump from the right, I understand it in terms of like, yeah, like he got a base by being super far right. Let me just repeat that same recipe and try and get the same cake. And he didn't. Um, he ended up getting like a vomit or a hair cake. Like it's just, and part of that is because, like you said, when you put him up on a stage, he licks his teeth. Um, so <laughs> like, there's that. Or it was maybe the pudding. Um, that ad was incredible. Right. But I do think that that's one of the, actually that's a perfect example because with the pudding, they specifically the ad that I'm talking about for those who may not have seen it um, or who are not as <laughs> obsessed with politics as maybe us. Um, basically, there was a rumor that uh, that DeSantis would eat pudding with his fingers. And so Trump decided to run an ad campaign using that, saying that DeSantis likes putting his hands where they don't belong, including in pudding. And in <laughs> where they don't belong is their social security. And that's a perfect example of like Donald Trump has been uniquely on the Republican side, outspokenly against cutting social security and Medicare. Yet he is still a far right extremist by every stretch of the imagination. So it's just an example of like, you can think that you can try and corner the Republican Party by understanding what they want, when in reality, all they want is Trump. No matter what Trump does, it if it's Trump, they're, they're for it. Yeah, yeah, I... I agree 100%. Uh, like, like you guys said, like, I never thought uh, DeSantis had any chance. I did think he'd do better than he did. Uh, I got to say, like, he did even worse than I expected. But DeSantis was sent on a fool's errand. Like, uh, the, he, they, they gave him 15 ounces of flour and said, give me a pound of bread. Like, it just wasn't going to happen. Like, the, DeSantis was, uh, he was never going to beat, I was said, as, as long as Donald Trump drew breath, he was going to be the Republican nominee. And he was put in this unenviable position where he had to run against the biggest hero the Republican Party has had in 50 years. And I'm sorry, there's just no 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 amount of good politicking is going to accomplish that. Certainly not bad politicking. And uh, what, uh, Leah, what you're talking about with Trump and uh, how they would do these funny uh, campaigns and like uh, slogans against uh, DeSantis, that was Trump's strong point and it was DeSantis's weak point. And I, I often refer to Donald Trump as the only funny right wing comedian. Like he actually has decent comedic chops and he can uh, he can fire off insults and one liners. And DeSantis doesn't have that at all. Just just zero of it. Like uh, we talk about Tim Scott has no risk. DeSantis doesn't either. But uh, uh, DeSantis is uh, just tripping over his words and like you know, yelling at kids for eating ice cream and shit like, like weird psychopath stuff. And uh Oh, or did you remember when when uh, there was a guy who was uh, in prison at Guantanamo Bay 
and he was mentioning that Ron DeSantis was there while he was getting tortured. And so they asked DeSantis, it's like, hey, we have this detainee from Guantanamo who says that you were there while he was getting tortured. And instead of denying it, DeSantis says, uh, what was his name? Who said that? He's <laughs> like, buddy, that is not, you're not helping your cause. That is not a great answer right there. Uh, and also, oh, the I wrote down two boot scandal. Have you, I, I've never seen a scandal uh, circling around boots when it came to a presidential candidate, but DeSantis had two. He had two. He had the time <laughs> he went to, he had, the, he had like the, the giant, like thigh high waders that he's walking around in. And then he had, you know, the supposed heels he's wearing. Uh, this is another thing. Like we were wondering like, what's going to happen with Tim Scott after uh, this engagement, uh, things don't work out. So DeSantis spent the last year, you know, touring around the country. He's like, I am definitely 5'10", you know, I'll go around and all that stuff. So now does he have to wear these boots forever now? Because like now you can't go back. Like you can't you go back cannot. to five eight. <laughs> you have to like really stick with this. He's gonna destroy his legs uh, for the rest of his life. But uh, my favorite uh, discourse around DeSantis, I've heard. I just, I just, you ever hear people say some shit and you just like you just shrug and you're like I, I can't. Come on. I, I've heard more than one human being, like a member of the same reasonably intelligent mammalian species that I'm a member of, say something like. Wow, you think DeSantis dropped out because Trump gave him a deal to make him VP? It's like, are you are you a fucking moron? I, I've heard many people say this. It's like that Trump wouldn't give anyone that kind of deal. Like Trump isn't, no. isn't gonna surrender like that. He doesn't he just, that right. implies that DeSantis has some sort of leverage against Trump. When just what evidence do we have to show? Literally, yes. Trump called him a predator. By implying that when he was a teacher, he, no. there were the pictures of DeSantis at the party with the high school students or whatever. He thought that he was a predator. Yeah. And the day that he drops out, he's like, Trump, I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> Trump, Just, Trump. No Donald leverage. Trump, no. He wouldn't. He wouldn't respect that. Like you, just you yeah. lost Trump's respect. You know, by by groveling, which is funny that they all do that. Like that just makes you Trump respects you less. But yeah, and also, what does Trump gain by having DeSantis on the ticket? Like having a worse version of him is not going to get him any <laughs> extra votes. Like, I I don't get it. Uh, I don't know, John. Like, what what was your uh, your circumspect uh, thoughts on the whole DeSantis thing? A hundred percent agree. There's no way that DeSantis gets the VP, gets a cabinet no position. Maybe if there's a cabinet position of like waxing Donald Trump's shoes for him, since he's already <laughs> so close to the ground, um, that that might actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that as a five six man myself. Um, <laughs> the, the 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 actual like like this is such a failure for DeSantis. Like that is like my biggest thing is DeSantis really did put all of his eggs in yes. this. Like and DeSantis really thought that he had a shot. And when he started, I I did I thought he had a shot at the presidency if a couple different you know chips fell in his direction. Um, clearly that was never going to be the case because Ron DeSantis is Ron DeSantis. And if I was Ron DeSantis, I would also realize I wouldn't want to run for president because I'm not a human being. Um, it really, <laughs> it, re it really does seem like Ron DeSantis was built in a laboratory to try and be like aliens made Donald Trump, but more right wing, um, mm -hmm. and then failed to just add the riz. Like, I think that's exactly the sugar spice, everything nice, no riz, uh, everything, <laughs> I guess. Um, but like the thing about it, I, I think my biggest thing is what would it take for Ron DeSantis to have been able to compete with Donald Trump? Like if we had put Ron DeSantis's policy and name recognition going into this, into George Bush's body with George Bush's charisma. No, I think chance. so. Okay. I'm going to say something that maybe I shouldn't, but I watch for news sometimes my guilty pleasure don't judge me is kyle kalinsky and i agree with kyle kalinsky <laughs> here um because well he's just not that far left like he's left but he's just not he's <laughs> like he has kyle really yes, like, <laughs> he has he has really good opinions it's just i thought leo was about wanna... to say i watch fox news every once i yeah i saw some <laughs> alex jones <laughs> <Kyle> or... <laughs> no, I, and i really and i really like kyle um but he just sometimes he's like he's so close to getting it that capitalism is the root issue and then he's just like ah reform is okay and i'm like you were so close um but anyway i agree with him here uh when he says that the only person that could possibly compete with trump now that we've seen how it played out because i agree with you at first i was like desantis like outflanking him from the right i think was his only like 
was the only shot that he had. He doesn't have the charisma. He doesn't have the, which is the thing that I'm about to go into, which is celebrity. Like he's not famous enough. Although in the, like in the politics world, he has a name because he was doing some crazy stuff during 2020 and stuff. In the rest of the world, which is where Trump thrives, which is the rest of the nation, he's just not known enough. So I think that like my comparison of who I think could have done it is honestly Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like if you put, if you try to- out Trumpers. Yeah. Yeah, he would get the Never Trumpers because of his relationship to California. It screams Ronald Reagan. But at the same time, he could out charisma and be funny to do the thing that Trump does. Now he's too old. So then who does that leave? He's and also that's German. Like, <laughs> well, he was governor. So can't, I don't no, know. You, can you he can't not? be president. Yeah, you can't be president though. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think you're right. I don't know if he's a dual citizen. I just, I'm French American. I <laughs> but think you're that right. I yeah, he be would... president. <laughs> so I just think that it would have to be someone that has the celebrity draw because otherwise, if you are just strong in politics, you're not going to compete with no. Trump. You just can't. No. No, I, I, I think uh, like Schwarzenegger, like, yeah, if he was born in the United States, he would be. But that, I was going to say he's not, you know, far right enough, but this is a hypothetical word. He, he would be far right enough. And so, yeah, uh, that, that, that would be uh, pretty good. Um, I, now I was going to say about Kyle Kalinske now, but I have something more to say about if, Schwarzenegger. If, he could, if, <laughs> if, if, if Arnold Schwarzenegger could run for president, I think the Democrats would pay him to run third party. Like that, that, that would be... He would siphon votes away from Trump. Oh, one hundred percent. Positive way. One hundred percent. And I think that that's honestly also the trajectory that I'm starting to see us going politically. Yes. Is yes. Like even with this New Hampshire primary of seeing how unimportant local politics were, because Nikki Haley had so many advantages to her locally for New Hampshire for their base, and she still didn't. I mean, obviously she did better than expected, but she didn't close the gap. And this was her one shot at it, basically. And so to understand how these national politics are playing into, yes, Nikki Haley should have won New Hampshire, but she didn't. And why? I just think that we're going to see this trajectory nationally where we start listening more to celebrities in terms of like that blend between politics. Like we already saw it with Kim Kardashian. We're seeing it with Taylor Swift. Like I just feel like we are at that stage of capitalism and capitalist decay where the oligarchy and the politics are just going to become more obviously overlapped, in my personal opinion. Yeah. All right. I remember the question now, uh, which I'm about with Brother DeSantis. What, what could it have taken for him to beat DeSantis? Uh, I, I don't think I, – so I think the only re- – to me, I couldn't understand why DeSantis was doing this. Like, he's like 45. The man has all the time in the world to run for president. And he had uh, – my brother lives in Florida – And I remember visiting him and him talking about how DeSantis is a good politician because what he would do is he would always send like bonus checks to like the cops out of nowhere. It's like, hey, here's a thousand dollars extra in your check, you know, courtesy of Governor DeSantis or or even teachers like, hey, here's some more money in your check, which is good politics. It's a good idea. Like that keeps get that endears you to people. And so, like, he kind of got high on his own supply. He started thinking, yeah, he got lucky in his first race against Andrew Gillum. He beat him, like, he beat Andrew Gillum by, like, half a percentage point. It was a razor-close yeah. uh, governor's race. And the second time he ran against, uh, what was his name, Charlie Crist, who was, you know, like, that guy's a joke. So he crushed him. So he had all this momentum, you know, going forward. And he thought, okay, I need to strike while the iron is hot because he's termed out. He can't run for governor again. So he figured, okay, I have to run now. And I think he kind of had the suspicion or people were telling him, it looks like Trump is going to jail. So if Trump goes to jail, then, you know, you just need to wait him out and then you can win. But I I heard that and I said, listen, I I think if Trump goes to jail, he'll get more votes. I, I do. I, I do. I think they'll be like, wow, that's really cool. We got our president. I, I think he would. So I don't think that would have worked either. But I think the only chance that, uh, you know, he would have had is if like something debilitating like trump had a stroke or something like that i really just don't think there was any universe in which a healthy donald trump loses to ron DeSantis or or any other republican for that matter i just i just i just don't think it would but even but even then i kind of disagree with you because even if trump went down i agree with you john where you say like DeSantis just doesn't have it he just Mm -hmm. doesn't have it when you put him in front of a camera he crumbles Mm -hmm. he sounds like a toddler throwing a tantrum Like when he gets angry, it doesn't give off like scary or firm or strong or like courageous. It gives off whiny 
and kind of annoying and I just want him to be quiet so it's like it doesn't give off what we need or what they want in terms of the Republican base but speaking of him and I'm curious if you guys saw this uh Ben Shapiro saying that he uh now is endorsing Donald Trump did you guys watch the clip where he said that I did I, I go ahead well, Ben Shapiro, he's been a DeSantis fan since mm -hmm. the beginning. He's one of the mm -hmm. ones that back in 2016, he was like, I don't really want Trump. I'm going to go with, who was it? Oh, it was Ted Cruz. Then in now this election, he was picking DeSantis uh, and he was backing him no matter what DeSantis did. Like, I don't know if you guys remember DeSantis's crazy, like far right neo-Nazi ad where he like yep. had all those crazy Wh which things. One, and yeah. it was which one? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And so like, even after all of those things that were clearly like one anti-Semitic, but two just far out there, Ben Shapiro was like, this is our guy. But now that <laughs> Iowa happened and then DeSantis dropped out, it took Ben Shapiro a little bit, but he came out and he was like, I am endorsing Trump. But in his little video, one, you can tell that he hates Trump still and that he doesn't want to be endorsing him. But two, he said that DeSantis, that this just isn't the right time for DeSantis. And that DeSantis still has a long political career within this movement that trump is building and i'm wondering y'all's thoughts because i just disagree i think that i agree with you tj that like he, he, he he's done he's done in florida because he gave up governor for the presidential he, which is feels backstabby and not great especially when he said that he was going to focus on governor and nationally he looked like he was licking his teeth like i don't know how else you want to say it. like his coat job like just all of it i'm not saying that i can't say that but like no, I think <laughs> I, I think DeSant DeSantis reminds me, if anyone's like an NBA fan, and, and this doesn't happen as much anymore, but it, it used to happen a lot, you know, 10 years ago, where also hockey, I guess, but this is a little so, but more NBA, like your team would draft this like great player from some small country in Europe that no one's ever heard of. And like he he takes three years to actually come overseas and like you're so he checks all the boxes he's like seven foot tall and can can run and jump and is athletic and shoot and then he comes here and he absolutely sucks everyone sees that he sucks in the nba he's never going to make it you know from the first time you see him touch a basketball <laughs> in the united states of america and that is how it feels looking at ron DeSantis. it's like Oh, well, no, you're, yeah, I understand why the Republicans went for you, but clearly now that I've seen you, you're never <laughs> going to be making it. And that that's the case with DeSantis. I do he, think that a DeSantis type has a lot of potential, but Ron himself is, again, I can't stress this enough. I, I don't say this like as a joke or an exaggeration, but I have legitimate concerns. He's not human. <laughs> like, it's it, it, that that's that's just straight up. I can never, even if he was like my perfect policy person, he was I checked all the boxes. I would never vote for Ron DeSantis. He's also someone. Speaking of Tim Scott with his engagement, he's also someone that I would love to see. Like I want to see Tim Scott on a date with his fiance, <laughs> and I want to see. Ron DeSantis also interact with his family. Just like, I want to see if he, his joints move correctly. Like, it's just, just, oh God, they're so The ragdoll physics for, uh, for the yeah. Ron DeSantis program. Um, so DeSantis, uh, one thing I say with DeSantis is that DeSantis doesn't look like the president. He looks like the guy who's introducing you to the president. That That's who Ron DeSantis <laughs> kind, of, kind of appears. Like he, uh, I, I did a video once talking about how the Republican Party is a criminal organization, as we all know. And like any good criminal outfit, there are bosses and there are henchmen. Ron DeSantis is a henchman. Like that's that's his ceiling. Like he gives off big goon energy. That's the kind of the guy he is. And so I just don't think he's fit for that role. Like, and once again, like John's right. Last year, okay, so last year, like another sports analogy uh like the, the the backup qb is the most popular guy in town all the time mm -hmm. you know and so all right desantis with the backup qb is like, okay you could project like uh how great this guy is gonna be and then all like the the voters it never was organic though it was never from the republican base it was always from the republican intelligentsia to the extent that it exists uh to and the, the funding Yep, the donors and the Republican media class, they were the people pushing DeSantis because they don't think Trump can win. They still don't. Like, they keep talking about it all the time. They keep talking about how terrified they are that uh, Trump is going to, you know, drive down their numbers. So it was always artificial. And uh, Leah, I, I hadn't thought about this, but you mentioned uh, Ron DeSantis and uh, Tim Scott, like, going on dates, interacting with the families. Do you guys remember that... Uh, 
the article that came out a while ago when they were talking about DeSantis when he would go on dates uh, in the past before he was married. It's I wish I had it in front of me, but they, they were talking about how he would go on dates with women and he would pronounce Thailand as Thailand. And mm -hmm. uh, he, you remember that? John? That's a bold like, move. So he would say, so it wasn't like a sexual thing either. It was like, if you might be thinking, but he would pronounce it as Thailand just to see if they would correct him. And if they corrected him, he would like, okay, we're not going to work out here. And like, he waited until he found someone that just I thought that it was going to be, I know that that was dumb of me, but I thought that it was going to be the opposite of like, oh no, like it's she, not, like she cares enough about that. No, it's, <laughs> I want nope, you nope, to be nope, beneath me. Do not yep, speak yep, up even when yep, I'm exactly. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. But yeah, there was all these kind of weird things. DeSantis. Yeah, you're right. He kind of seems like uh, someone, an alien was here, you know, 50 years ago and tried to create a human from memory and gave us Ron DeSantis. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it was fun to watch. I'm kind of sad that he's out because every week was something great with him from his like weird cackling laughs to uh, his, his weird, he would dress like Donald Trump and like he wasted a year of his life for, for nothing. And I, I hope he keeps doing it some more because I, I can't get enough of it. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you've made it to this point in the show, that means you made it to the end and the algorithm is going to send you more of our recommendations. And they're also going to send your friends more of our recommendations. So thank you so much. Uh, it really is the best thing that you can do for us is to watch this long. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, that is the second best thing you can do for us. Before you go, I want to make sure that you get a chance to go follow Leah, our excellent guest, um, on all of her socials. So Leah, how about you tell the audience where they can find you? Yeah, so on TikTok, I go by Petite Leah. So it's P-T-I-T-E dot L-I-A. Um, I'm French, so sorry that I made that complicated. And then on Instagram, I go by Socialist Sleuths, uh, which I always forget that I'm going to have to say that forever and here on out, out loud. But it is Socialist, just regular, S-L-O-O-T-S. -O -O so that's on me and bad decisions made in the past. But here we are. <laughs> Folks, you just witnessed three of the greatest content creators you can find on the World Wide Web. And whether your language is, uh, you know, English, uh, a base Germanic based language or French, uh, a beautiful, you know, Latin based language, be sure to follow all three of us and follow this page. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. We'd appreciate it. And so would they.